Hi guys, this is Maverick Pro, the Chemistry Guru. Now, in this video, we want to go through the suggested solution for 2019 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1, Question 10. Alright, let's take a look at Question 10. The metals of Group 2, Magnesium to Barium, show increasing chemical reactivity down the group. So which change helps to explain this trend? Obviously, this question is under group chemistry, group 2, metal chemistry. So option A, the increase in electron affinity down the group. Option B, the increase in electronegativity down the group. Option C, the increase in the nuclear charge down the group. And finally, option D, the increase in the number of electron shells down the group. So which of this change will explain why is there an increase in the reactivity down group 2? Now, if I consider metals, because metals always undergo oxidation, which is the loss of electron, so increasing chemical reactivity is equivalent to it becomes easier and easier for the group 2 metal to lose its electrons as you go down the group. That means if I look at magnesium, the ease of loss of electrons for magnesium, it is slightly harder. Then if I consider barium, Barium, it is very easy for it to lose its electrons and to get oxidized to Ba2+. So chemical reactivity of metals is tied directly to the ease of oxidation of the metal or how easy it is for the metal to lose its electron. So therefore, this is related to effective nuclear charge. What is the overall attraction between the nucleus of the metal and the valence electrons? So it's along this line, it is along the concept of effective nuclear charge. But let's run through these options part by part. Now let's look at option A, the increase in electron affinity down the group. So sometimes the information is outright wrong or is totally not true. So this is one example. This statement is false because if you go down the group, there are more principal quantum shells. The atom gets bigger in terms of size. So therefore the valence electrons are further away from the nucleus. There will be a weaker attraction on the electron. So the affinity of electron for any group should decrease down the group. So even if I look at non-metals, if I look at halogens, which is group 17, as you go down the group, the electron affinity will decrease because the valence electrons are getting further and further away from the nucleus. So it becomes harder and harder for the nucleus to attract the electron. So the electron affinity decreases down any group which of course will include down group 2. So A is absolutely wrong, it's not true. Now how about B, increase in electronegativity down the group. Now electronegativity and electron affinity, they are related because if you like the electron more, or if you're capable of attracting the electron to you to a bigger extent, then in a covalent bond, you will be able to do the same thing. Now electronegativity is more specifically how strongly an element can attract the electron pair towards itself inside the covalent bond. So it is a bit more specific. It is pertaining to a covalent bond. Now, most of the time, metals don't form covalent bonds, right? Because metals tend to lose its electron to form metal cations. So usually we don't talk about electronegativity of metals, but even if we want to define electronegativity of the metal, the trend should be exactly the same as that for electron affinity. As you go down the group, there are more principal quantum shells, the valence electrons get further away from the nucleus. So even if you were to form a covalent bond with some other guy, the attraction between the nucleus and the bond pair of electrons will be weaker as you go down the group because it is further away from the nucleus. So B is also absolutely wrong. B is definitely up. Now how about C, the increase in the nuclear charge down the group? Now this is true because nuclear charge is linked directly to the number of protons in the nucleus. So it is true that as you go down group 2, in fact, if you go down any group, right, there will be more protons, so the nuclear charge would go up. But this doesn't explain why it makes it easier for me to lose the electrons for metals because we know that there's an increasing chemical reactivity down group 2 metal. So it means that it is easier for the metal to lose its electron. Now, if there's an increase in nuclear charge, and if this is the dominant factor, then an increase in the nuclear charge will mean that the nucleus 
will have a stronger positive charge so it can pull the electron closer to itself and hold it more tightly it makes it harder for the electron to be lost it will cause a decrease in the reactivity of our group 2 metal so option c it is true but it doesn't explain the outcome the dominant factor that we should be looking at in fact it is the effective nuclear charge so which we will talk about in option d because effective nuclear charge it decreases down the group so finally for option d the increase in the number of electron shells down the group which is true because as you go down the group the principal quantum number increases so therefore there will be more inner principal quantum shell now this will mean that the shooting effect will increase there's an increase in the shooting effect because you have more inner shells to block the attraction between the nucleus and the valence electron now the shooting effect as you go down the group will tend to outweigh the nuclear charge effect now these two effects actually they oppose each other or they contradict each other as you go down the group the nuclear charge increases so this will mean that there should be an overall stronger attraction between the nucleus and the valence electron as you go down the group the shooting effect will also increase now shooting effect will decrease the attraction between the nucleus and the valence electron the more shields or the more inner shells we have then the greater the shooting effect the attraction between the nucleus and the electron will get weaker so you notice these two guys they will fight each other so which one wins usually down the group the shooting effect is more important than the nuclear charge effect so we will say that the shooting effect outweighs the nuclear charge effect or this shooting effect it is the dominant effect so overall the effective attraction between the nucleus and the valence electron will decrease or we say that the effective nuclear charge decreases i'll have an overall weaker attraction between the nucleus and the valence electron so it makes it easier for the metal to lose electron which will explain why there's an increase in the reactivity of group 2 metals so i can also say that since it is easier for the metal to lose electron i can say that it is more easily oxidized or it is more reactive or it is more reducing because if the metal is being oxidized then it will reduce some other species so these two are more or less talking about the same thing so as we go down group 2 we can say that the group 2 metals become more reactive or i can say that they are more easily oxidized or they are more reducing or they are stronger reducing agents so if i run through these options a b c d clearly the answer to this question that will explain the reactivity of group 2 metals will be option d all right so that was the discussion involving question 10. so what you have noticed so far for inorganic chem questions involving periodicity group chemistry they tend to be pretty straightforward so most of the time we should be able to answer them pretty quickly in mcq so that we can save this time to do slightly more interesting questions so if you have learned something useful from this video please give me the thumbs up like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more weekly video lessons that's all for now thanks for watching